Rebecca Charlton and a very warm welcome along to day seven here at the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships. Well, yesterday saw the team time trial mixed relay and it did not disappoint. It was Switzerland who successfully defended their title in stunning fashion. Let's take a look now at the pick of the highlights. Let's have a word now from Mauro Smid. He was, of course, in that winning team from Switzerland. Uh, we try to uh, take the corners as smooth as possible, stay together. I think that's very important on this course. Um, the coach in the car always um, said to us when we had little gaps that we could wait and also not to accelerate too fast after the corner. And I think we did manage this quite well. And then uh, in the end was about uh, to do or Stefan Bissek did a really long pull, so till about 1.5k to go, and then we were just uh, had to sprint to the line. I think, uh, yeah, the pacing was really good, and uh, we can be happy with uh, with our performance. Well, it is just about that time in the show where I welcome in a very special and exciting guest to the studio to dissect the action, to talk about what is coming up and today it's the turn of UCI multiple world champion in the discipline of Charles. Welcome Kenny Villay. Good morning Rebecca, how are you? I'm good thank you, how are you doing? Good, fantastic. It's brilliant to have you here at the Worlds, it's just got such a buzz about everything coming together, it's massive isn't it? Yeah it's pretty amazing, when they told me the plans a few years ago, I mean told me everybody, when they told everybody. They, call, they called you first. <laughs> no, <right? laughs> I was like whoa that's interesting, I, I want to I see how that goes but I mean being here checking out a few of the other disciplines I think it's flawless and it's really, I mean apart from the weather for some of the disciplines of course but I mean it's Scotland yeah uh, it is Scotland but <laughs> it's uh yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool and you know the smaller disciplines really get the attention that mm -hmm. they usually don't have because of road cycling the bigger disciplines so it's pretty pretty good for the sport yeah I really agree with that and on a personal level uh, we we love seeing your content on social media the videos you do of course with Red Bull as well and um, what's new what have you mastered lately um, to be honest, I've been very focused. Uh, when I stopped competing, I took a little bit of a break and then, uh, you know, repositioning myself a little bit in life. So we had a baby that took a lot of my time. But uh, professionally, I'm really focusing on new projects for 2024 uh, with Red Bull. Some cool, uh, you know, like uh, 2.0 of my slackline project when I rode over the slackline seven mm -hmm. years ago. So we're trying to find a new venue for it and a new location and all that. Um, and then other than that, I'm just uh, doing shows all over the world. I'm organizing an event in America, in Bentonville, Arkansas, the Bentonville Bike Fest. So yeah, a lot on my plate and uh, never enough time in a day. There isn't, is there? No. <laughs> What's the reaction been to the slack line? Uh, still, like seven years uh, later, it still gets shared like on a weekly, weekly basis. It's pretty wild. I think we had over 600 million impressions with this project. And uh, it's, it just keeps going. And what I like about this edit is like it's maybe just one minute long, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it reflects my career. It's like about falling, getting up, falling, getting up, and actually succeeding. And that's what trials is about because it's hard. It's a really hard sport. I like all sports, but it's really like 90% of your trainings are just failing. <laughs> Well, convenient segue to my next question there, because I think it is so important to show that behind the scenes, which you do so well, is the first day, presumably you've gone out, you've fallen, you've said, right, what are the parameters, what do I need to do? And then when it cuts to the end product, it's just even more spectacular. And I think that's very important for rising talent, yeah. young people, young girls and boys looking to do this maybe in the future and knowing how hard it is, but that they can 
perhaps achieve that? No, 100%. Everything you see here, even on the World Championships in BMX Freestyle, Flatland, you know, there's very little failures, but we're all specialists and experts in our fields. And to get there, like, like I say, in trials, like if I train for two hours, probably one hour, 20 minutes is just failing. Because if you train what you can do, then you're not training. So you're always trying something you can do. And that's your standard for tomorrow. But then when the, tomorrow, your standard is really hard, so you're failing again. So it's a long, like 10, 20, in my case, 30 years uh, process of improving and mastering your skill. Oh, we've loved watching it yeah. and can't wait for the next project, definitely. Um, we're here in Glasgow Green, of course. We've had so much action from the freestyle, but trials is coming up. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. What can you tell us? For anyone maybe, fans at home watching this, what's going to happen at this competition? Um, I think, according to the forecast, it's going to rain. So it's going to be very, uh, you know, th that changes up everything. And I think, uh, you know, we all know Jack Carty is the man to beat. He's British. and. He's in the 26 inch category. So first of all, for the people who don't know, we have 20 inch category, it's like a BMX wheel size. Then we have 26 inch wheels, that's mountain bike wheel size. And then we have the women category and the women can choose which bike they ride. Uh, so there's technically three uh, main uh, titles to be won. And yeah, in the 26 inch category, Jack Card has been winning almost every year, but the Spanish are there and they're improving and they're like very fierce. They, you know, they, they have the knife between the teeth. And uh, in the 20 inch category, we got, it's all Spanish uh, dominated with a German and uh, you know, even a, um, a, Slovak, a Slovak rider and an Austrian. Uh, and the 20 inch level is really high. And there I can't really predict who's gonna win because they're all on the same level. Uh, wow. And in the women category, uh, we got, again, a, Spani a Spanish girl, Vera Baron versus Nina Reichenbach, a German girl. So these are the names you have to look out for. Um, and if you're watching on TV or if you watch live, I, I can only uh, recommend you to learn the rules. Like go online, okay. check out the scoring system because it might be overwhelming and complicated. But once you get to know the scores and you can follow on the screen the scores, it's pretty it's pretty interesting uh, sport to watch. Yeah, oh, that's an understatement. It's and, amazing, yeah, isn't and it? Very <laughs> un and very underestimated. Um, some people think, ah, oh, just a little bit hopping on your bike, you know, it's easy. <laughs> but it's so hard. It's I like, definitely don't think it's that. Like, no, it's like uh, it's like walking up the up the stairs and jumping upstairs with like uh, like a hundred pounds in your back and constantly like squat, squat, and then you got to do you got to do your highest jump at the end of the section. So you have two minutes. So at one meet on one minute fifty seconds, you still got to go over two obstacles, but you're at a heart rate hundred eighty five, for example. So and then you still got to go, and that's what makes the difference between you know the right technique with the good uh, power output and so it's like it's very interesting to watch oh, it certainly is i can't wait kenny yeah. thank you so much for the insight thank you no worries thanks for having me well each and every day we've had jess rogers out among the fans bringing us all the behind the scenes action and today for one day only we have the wonderful reporter lauren smith on the case she's been catching up with all the action over at the bmx center in glasgow take a look Hey guys, my name is Lauren Smith and I am taking over the reins of Squiggly Bike TV and we're here at the BMX Racing Challenge and I probably shouldn't admit this, but I have never ridden a BMX bike. Now seems like a great place to try. Yeah, I mean the World Championships is the pinnacle of the sport. You know, we've got Australia, Aruba, Thailand, um, a mul multitude of different cultures and ages, everyone coming together for the love of one sport. It's just. It's just incredible. I call it BMX Christmas. The crowd just gets so into it. As we've gone through the week here with the challenge classes, the noise level's just gone up and up and up. And the, by the time we get to the finals, the crowds are going absolutely wild. Want to know who has the hardest job in BMX racing? Rich Ames does. He's not here. <laughs> I see a beautiful 
beautiful, a beautiful UCI cow in the middle of the queue. Yeah. Are you racing? Yesterday. How did it go? Bad. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Did anyone bring any maple syrup with them? <laughs> Has anyone got? <laughs> I can see that you're drinking the traditional Scottish drink of champions. Yeah, is that the secret to your success? Yes, yes it is the secret. <laughs> just to clarify, I just got hit by a grape. <laughs> Boys are fun. Uh, yeah, some of them are a bit annoying. All of them actually, but yeah. How much effort goes in from the whole family to make their dreams reality? A lot, a lot basically. You have to, all your weekends are ruined, basically. <laughs> Come on! Push! 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 All the way! Come on, all the way! Come on, Peyton! Keep going, keep going, keep going! Push! How's your voice? Nearly gone. <laughs> Nearly gone, but a few beers and an engine later make it feel a lot better. It's absolutely buzzing. The scene's massive. Um, rider numbers have gone through the roof. We're higher than we've been for the last 10 to 15 years. For me, it's the grassroots, it's the foundation sport where if they can learn and hone their skills and race at this level um, in a BMX race, they can go on to be a professional elite cyclist in any other discipline, really. I feel like I need to tell you, this is the best mullet I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Well, this is backstage. We call them the pits. What would be the ultimate pump-up shoot? Bit of Taylor Swift? Nah. <laughs> It's honestly, I think it's all about just being comfortable. Because I will admit the race gear, not comfy. I think you could do a bunny hop or a wheelie. This is not really in my wheelhouse, just to clarify. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do this. <laughs> what a day at the Glasgow BMX Centre. It's been full of colour, countries, camaraderie. I'm not sure it gets much better than this. My name's Lauren Smith and you're watching Squiggly Bike TV. Thanks, Lauren. You finally got that shot at riding a BMX. Dreams really do come true here at the World Championships, don't they? Talking of which, and continuing along the theme of BMX, well, Gemma is 11 years old. She's from Minnesota, and she had never, ever left the USA. But she is coming over here to the world to take part in the BMX Racing Challenge. She's particularly excited, but it also means a tremendous amount. Take a look why. What I love about BMX is just the competition and I love how like energetic it is. It's just so fun. I feel really nervous because I've never been out of the United States before, but I'm also really excited because it's just it's just a totally different country. I think the team is feeling great because I think we have pretty stacked riders here. The track is pretty great, I think. Uh, it's very technical, but I love it. This event means a lot to me because I'm doing this for my grandma and grandpa who recently passed away, but also I'm doing this for myself to get a little boost of confidence, you know. Gemma is clearly destined for big things and we cannot wait to see what the future holds for her. Well, we would love for you to get involved on social media. Make sure you're giving us a follow on all the platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, maybe TikTok. We'd love to see your dancers. <laughs> Use the hashtag GlasgowScotland2023 so we can share the best of your social posts. Talking of great socials, take a look at our next clip. It's for um, the upcoming individual time trial in Stirling. It's a stunning promo.
We're reading your tweet, Bob. We see you. Welcome to Glasgow and enjoy all the action. Well, UCI World Champions Sophie Unwin and Jenny Hull talk about their hat trick of wins. Where are they going to put all those goos? Yeah, it's gone incredibly well better than we could have hoped for, really. The pursuit was always going to be a big one. Kilo, again, it's very similar to the pursuit. But we entered the sprint for fun. We didn't come in knowing we were going to do this. We came in hoping for a pursuit and seeing where everyone else was in all the other events. The speed is there. If we go for it, we, we've got it if we want it. We had a goal of what we were planning to do. And Sophie just has to react to what I do. And she's so good at it. And I don't know how she does it, to be honest, because I'm just like flicking all over the track and jumping out the saddle. And she's straight on it every time. Join up the herd. I've not even thought about names. I feel like they should have Scottish names, but I don't yeah. know very many Scottish names. So I think Jenny's going to have to give me a list to pick from. I can give you a list. Well, why don't you get in touch and come up with some Scottish name uh, suggestions for all of Sophie's Highland coos? Or in my accent, simply cows. <laughs> Um, well, I said earlier, we love your social posts, we love to have you involved, but we've also got a really fun game and points mean prizes. Become the best player on the World Champions Predictor game here at the UCI Cycling World Championships powered by Tissot and be in with a chance of winning a very shiny brand new Tissot watch. Fantastic stuff. Head over to www.myworldofcycling.com to get involved and play right now. Well, we are almost at the end of the show, I know. But um, we've got so much action coming up today. Take a look at this and today's schedule. It's a jam-packed schedule today, as you can see. We have a number of free events that you can attend, including road, BMX freestyle, flatland and trials. The party's already started at the Go Live Zone in George Square. There's also mountain bike cross country, which involves the team relay. And of course, there's still plenty of action going on over at the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome. Well, we will be back here same time, same place tomorrow. We hope you can join us then for much more action here at the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.